Hi guys, so today for one of my desserts for Thanksgiving, I am going to make a pumpkin roll. Um, unfortunately, you probably are not going to see this until after Thanksgiving. Sorry about that, but that's just the way the uh, cycle of the videos are going. Anyway, so we're going to make this. I'll show you how to do it, and maybe you can make it next year for Thanksgiving. To start with, we are going to take a third of a cup of flour, and to that we are going to add a half a teaspoon of baking um, powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and for our spices, we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. I'm only going to use about an eighth. Um, Cloves is pretty strong for me, so I'm only gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, cloves. So to that, we are going to mix that up. So those are our dry ingredients. For our wet ingredients, we're gonna have three eggs. And to that, we're gonna put in one cup of sugar. I like to fully um, combine the sugar and egg. To that, we're going to put in two thirds cup of pumpkin and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to mix that all up. Then we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. baking pan and um, I greased the bottom of it and then I lined it with a parchment paper. Into that we are going to pour in our cake mixture. Okay, then we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Once that's done, I'll come back and get you. Okay, so the cake is done. I just took it out of the oven. It's still warm. Um, you want this to be warm when you roll it, otherwise it'll crack. So to start with, we're gonna flip it out and I'm going to take a little bit of confectionery sugar and sprinkle it on the top. This is gonna help from sticking. parchment paper over that. And there we are. We flipped it out. So now I'm going to turn it back over. And then we're going to put it on a piece of clean um, tea cloth. And again, I'm going to put powdered sugar all over the tea cloth. This one I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with it because this is what we're going to let it cool on and I don't want it sticking. Okay, you just have to be really fast. And there's our thing. So what we're going to do is we are just going to roll it up. And that's it. That's our thing. 
and I am going to take this and I'm going to I'm going to leave it on here until it cools and then I'm going to wrap it and um, and then after it's fully cold we'll put the cream cheese filling in between it so when that time comes I will come get you okay our pumpkin roll is completely cool so now we can do our filling start with we are going to use um, one eight ounce block of cream cheese and one stick of butter unsalted butter We're gonna put this in the mixer and we are gonna mix it up. So now we're gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we have two cups of confectionery sugar. We're just gonna put like maybe half at first. Okay, you just want to mix that until it becomes nice and fluffy um, and it's completely incorporated with no lumps in it. So when you unroll your um, pumpkin roll, um, it's going to have a memory of what you did when you rolled it up because it is uh, all cool. So you have to be a little careful. take our cream cheese filling okay and now we're gonna roll it back up And so I like to trim off the ends just to make it nice and clean. And then just transfer it to a nice plate. Um, you remember from some previous videos, I told you I didn't really have any good serving things. So I was gonna go and get some more so I could be nice and bougie. Um, so this is one of the ones that I got, which is perfect for this roll. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna transfer it. To our dish, just like that. And then we're just gonna to top it off with some more confectionery sugar. There you go. You know what else we could do? We could even garnish it. Some little festive pumpkin things. Little gourds. Shut up, that looks cute. So there we go. There it is. I don't know if you can see. There's the, the roll part. So yeah, that one's all set. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Um, hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you in the next project. Bye.